is literally filled with trash, like literal trash. Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this frog and making him into a purse. First off, I'm not a fan of frogs. I'm not a fan of this. I'm going to put it down because I am um, creeped out just by holding him. I'm just gonna put him over there. As a child, I didn't mind frogs. I saw something on the documentary channel. It was probably History or National Geographic channel, whatever, when I was like a teenager, and it was a giant frog eating a rat. And that image has stuck with me ever since. I just, I can't look at frogs or toads the same way anymore. Anywho, this purse is not for me. It is for my sister. That is why I'm making this. She saw a video online of this girl taking one of these Michael's frogs and turning them into a purse. And she's like, can you do this for me? So I'm like, you know what? I'll do it and I'll make a video. So this is what the video is. I'm going to be making him into a purse. I've never attempted to make a purse before. So this should be interesting. I kind of see how it's going to go in my mind. Don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm hoping it's good. Hoping it's good. I got all my supplies besides the frog. Frog was from Michael's. The rest of the supplies I got from Fabricland. I'm going to be moving into the garage to work on this because I am going to be using glue. It was an E6000 glue and I don't want it to, you know, smell up the trailer. Be stuck with that smell all day. Probably gonna take a day or two just because of the glue having to dry. I really don't know what else to talk about because I just really gotta get into doing it. So let's head into the garage and start working on this frog. What I need for this project. A leather needle, a zipper, metal rings for the strap, ribbon to hold the metal rings, velvet trim, fabric for the lining, and of course the frog. He was literally filled with trash, like literal trash. I thought there would have been some, you know, stuffed animal stuffing in there. No, no, it, he, he, he was just filled with trash. Off camera, I ended up making this little tiny bag with the zipper and a material on the inside because it doesn't matter on the outside. When it goes in, you open it up, you're gonna see the pretty material on the inside. So my thought process was I'm gonna have to add this like the fabric and I'm gonna have to add the zipper. Why not just sew the fabric onto the zipper so I only have to glue this? Cause the plan is, is I'm gonna put this in here and then I'm going to glue this to the frog and then with some pins, I'm going to like pin it and like let it sit for a while, probably 24 hours before I start doing anything else. Then once it is glued and it's like stable, I am gonna do some stitches. And that is why I bought this pack here. It actually does come with a, uh, a leather needle. He's plastic, he's not leather. I'm going to need a needle sharp enough to you know, go through this little guy. That's why I bought this, but also I don't have like the hook ones. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well just buy the whole pack. And it was only $3.10, which is amazing. My sister already has the handle or has the uh, bag strap. So I don't have to worry about making one of those or buying one, but I do need to have this. So then that way it goes like here and then I attach it to here. I think what I'm gonna do is take this to the sewing machine and sew these up really good, just like this before I glue them. And then after I glue them, I will stitch them on and then and that's also why I bought this guy. And this here is just, it's a little piece of velvet. And what I wanna do is eventually this whole part here, you're gonna see some stitches. You might see some glue come through. So to make it look pretty, I ended up buying this little thing here just to, you know, make it look really, really cute. All right, so I made these little tabs here and they need to go in there. But I also, I need to go grab some scissors. My bad, I heard this. So I want this to look like that. So I'm gonna have to put some glue. I think I'm just gonna put glue on this. So now that's gonna glue that one down and then I need to do the same for the bottom here. So these are gonna sit like this 
for how many hours? Uh, 24 hours. So it's gonna need 24 hours to cure, so I think I might leave this overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to attach this in here because I'm also gonna need to pin it down and glue it. Let that cure for another 24 hours, so then on Friday I can stitch it up as well as add any of the little details, but this is what he's looking like so far. Okay, it is day two. I took the clothespins off of him here and here, and then I ended up stitching just along right here and right here as well, just to make sure that they're really secure. I didn't film myself stitching them because I mean, it's sewing. I take a needle and some thread and just sew. So I, I didn't think it was gonna be too entertaining to film. Anywho, today I will be adding the bag in. This project, it's taking longer than I thought it would because of the glue that I'm using. The glue needs 24 hours to cure before I can like do anything with safely without like ruining the bag. Again, I'm going to use clothespins to secure it after I glue. Then tomorrow I can take the clothespins off and stitch around it and then add all the little embellishments and make it look pretty. But for today, it's just more gluing. Also this, I'm working on this today. This I'm not making a project. My sister wants a pumpkin head. So another project for my sister, she wants a pumpkin head to wear. And uh, that's some Mod Podge stuff that uh, I did last night and it's still wet. So I got to bring in the house. And that's just a whole other thing that I have to also do today. Plus I'm starting another sweater. Yeah, you heard me right. I'm starting another cardigan. I finish a cardigan, I start another cardigan. Anywho, on to the frog. Okay, so day three now. I took the clothespins off and he's all glued up. What I have to do now is uh, stitch him. Oh God, I just, I don't like frogs. I don't like frogs. Today I'm going to stitch him up and then add all the other little things that I need to add. And I think, I think he will be done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch here and here before I take him back into the garage where I'm going to glue the little trim on and I think I think he's good. But on the inside, you can see all the material. So that's what it looks like on the inside. And yeah, so I'm gonna stitch him up.
frog purse is done. I think it turned out better than I expected. I was uh, really concerned with the zipper part. I was just afraid that like when I glued the zipper it wasn't gonna like zip right. It's fine. I mean as long as she is uh, my sister not the frog. As long as my sister is careful with the frog and doesn't like I don't know. I don't think he's a load-bearing frog in the sense that I don't think you should be putting a brick in him. I think it's cute for a novelty bag. An everyday bag. Not too sure. This is my first bag that I've ever made so we will see. Also, I have bangs now. I got bangs! So that's that's a new development in my life. I think I did quite well with my crippling fear of frogs to uh, finish the project and uh, not cry once. That's basically the bag. I showed you how I made it. Now it's done. I no longer have the bag with me, so I can't show you. I've already given it to my sister. It is her bag. It was never my bag because I do want to like frogs. If I found maybe a snail or a mushroom. Oh my goodness, what about a dinosaur? Could you imagine if I found like a dinosaur, like a stegosaurus? Because a stegosaurus would be the perfect like purse shape. Okay, so now I'm on the hunt for a plastic stegosaurus that I can make into a purse. If you have any leads, let me know. But other than that, there's not much that I can say about the frog. If you're new to my channel and like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is the same fancy dinosaur tea party. I think that is it, so y'all have a good day now. <laughs>